So this way, you get zero points, but you get one points per level. And because we give your guy, we get because we give your hero an automatic one level when he starts the game, you're going to start out with one point. So don't put any in here unless you want two starting points, because this point will get added right away. Because uh, we made that first rank that your guy levels up. Anyways, and our info plus here. This is where the meat of the ability stuff is done. So for the first learn index, which is all we need to do for now, um, we're going to find, uh, where is it? So the charge, the count max is going to be 2, and the count use is going to be 1. So when you learn it once, it's going to use up one charge, and the max is going to be 2. And I think that's right, but I could be wrong, so we'll see. I usually screw things up. Um, okay, state available requirements. Here's where we have our requirement come in, come into play. Wow, there's that much learn. Um, spirit, I can't. Be, yeah. So this is our spirit bolt level skip. The default button is going to be learn spirit bolt, and the ability is going to be spirit bolt, which is right there. So. Um, this requirement will make it skip every second level. This thing will tell it what the learn button is, and this will tell it what the ability is, and we can press OK now. And now we can go to our hero. Um, OK, caress, and all this, all this heavy work we did is finally coming up to mean something. So double click on the abilities field, right click add value, add L for learn, and did I name it? something else like caress learn I did yeah and then copy paste and add spirit bolt so he needs to have both every hero has to have the learn ability and then all of their actual damage abilities or whatever and now we go to the command card so instead of having cancel here let's remove cancel and let's add on this bottom right corner and let's search for learn and click on what's this test learn oh interesting Learn abilities, ability command. Actually, no, this is actually just going to go to submenu two. Um, and it's going to be called. What's, what's really nice that Blizzard did was that um, it recognizes that the learn ability needs to go to a submenu. So when you set submenu here, it's going to go to the second command card, but it's going to be for this learn ability. Um, so that's kind of nice. And we'll go to the page 2 here and we'll add the learn spirit bolt thing so search for spirit B and find the learn spirit bolt button ability command caress learn learn spirit bolt good now let's go back to command card 1 and let's actually place the ability here so um, search for spirit click on the spirit bolt button ability command spirit bolt spirit bolt so and you make sure this is here because we set the button in the command of the ability so this will be initially hidden. When you go into learn abilities, it'll go here. And if you learn this ability, it'll show this button. And that's as simple as it gets. And um, why don't we actually go in game and see what happens? Because I haven't done this in a while, so I could have made some mistakes. Uh, let's find our hero. OK, so we see we have one learn ability here, one little number there. Our button worked. Um, click on it. You can see learn spirit bolt. And uh, obviously, I screwed something up. Um, but the thing's working there, and there's no cancel button. We'll need to fix that too. All right. So first off, the cancel button. Um, if we go to units in the data editor here, um, I knew I forget something. Under command card two, we actually need to add a thing in the bottom right corner here. Um, search for cancel. I picked the first one. I don't know why there's three. Um, and just make it um, submenu. Oops, uh, cancel submenu, I mean. That's all you have to do. Um, press OK. Um, now, I think the requirement might have been messed up, or the uh, learn ability. But I'm just going to check both. Um, spirit. OK, um, so for our skip, um, I think this has to be greater than. And just leave it at that, and we'll see what happens. Um, the other thing is the ability. Where's the ability? Spirit Bolt. Um, under the 
No, not, not this ability, the learn ability, I mean. We couldn't even learn it, never mind this working, which I'll find out in a second. Um, the learn ability for the rank that we made here, I think this uh, charge count use has to be zero. Um, the only important thing is the count max, which is how many ranks you can learn. And I think now if we go test, we'll be able to learn it. So uh, let's go find out. Okay. Um, so we can learn now, and now we can learn our spirit bolt. We can see it's here now. It costs 25 energy, and let's see it. It should nuke a, a hockey bee. Let's see, it should nuke one of them right away. Nice. Um, wait, maybe it didn't do anything. Let's see. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Wow, that level up effect is pretty wild. And we can't get it because of the requirement. And um, we can change the text on the requirement there to be a bit nicer. But um, I don't know if the ability is actually launching. If it is, he should be dying, I think, right? Because we made it. These guys only have like 35, uh, 35 health. So uh, let's go fix that up. All right, so first off, the requirement. Um, yes, I can do this now. Um, the requirement needs to have a text here, I think. So on this greater than or equal to thing, I mean greater than thing, um, let's say um, learning or learnable only every second level. And I know I forgot the why there. Okay. Um, now, as for the ability itself, uh, I think what's happening here is the mover is messed up. Um, I remember I clicked on this and it was blank. So let's just add in the photon cannon mover. So it has like some sort of speed to the missile. I think this has to be set. Let's put that in here and put it in level two in the missile effect as well. And just to check, let's make sure the weapon unit has... Ooh, he doesn't have a mover as well here, that's bad. Um, let's make it the photon cannon mover. That's always trustworthy. There we go. So let's go try this now and see how it goes. All right. Um, I'm going to learn my spirit bolt here. And we should be able to one-shot a zergling when we start casting. Awesome. Um, my screen just lagged a bit there, but uh did see that thing go. I should probably increase the range, but we'll see. Boom. There we go. I just leveled up. And... Um, can't learn it. it. Says learnable only every second level. Good to go there. Now let's uh, let's get some more experience here, so I can see if I can learn the second level. There we go, and boom, we can have this. Cost 35 energy now, and I assume it'll do 200 damage, like we said, or whatever the second level is. So now we can go ahead and make the second ability. All right, the second ability is going to be the uh, health regen sort of thing when you get attacked, and it costs you a bit of mana. Uh, energy, I mean, in StarCraft 2, it's energy. Um, so under abilities, let's right-click and add a new object, and let's call this energy defense. Suggest, and the ability type is behavior. And press OK. And this is basically the only way I was able to figure out how to do how to do uh, passive abilities in an easy way without doing a bunch of trickery or anything. And uh, it's not too bad. I mean, works for me. So first things first, commands. Um, we already had the button set up from earlier, so that works out perfectly. So to turn it on, it's going to use the button of energy defense, or actually T, search for T. Um, turn on energy defense. Did I seriously not make a turn off button? Well, I didn't. Okay, copy paste this. And let's change this to turn off energy defense. Suggest okay. And um, one thing we need to change here is turn on energy defense. At the bottom of the tooltip should say currently off. Because it's the button for turning on, it's currently off. And because this is the button for turning it off, it's currently on. And this is going to bug me, but I swear I didn't use capitals here. Oh, I didn't. There. Okay. And back to the ability, so now uh, the commands, let me finish this here. Off is going to be T, turn off energy defense. That's all you got to do there. Um, and uh, 
One thing I didn't show about Spirit Bolt, and I'm, I'm just doing this in my RPG right now, is going through and adding all the buttons for the second level. So, um, what was our damage here? Our damage was 100 and 200, so in the button for the first level, which you can assume is this one here, you can say, sends a wave of spirit energy that deals uh, 100 spell damage. Um, and I'll show how to do, <coughs> I'll show how to do uh, damage linking in a different tutorial, but for now I'm just going to hard type it in. Um, but you can actually link this using some variable, using some special tags in the text here to link it directly to this, to this specific field right here, so that if you change the damage later, it'll update the button automatically. But for now, I am and just going to show uh, hard typing in 100. And as an example, if you search for the ghost uh, ghost buttons and look for cloak, for instance, you can see these these things here: C val. I mean, uh, DREF, negative one times behavior, ghost cloak modification, vital read. So it tells you how much um, health you're losing per thing or whatever. Um, so this sort of tag thing, I'll do a tutorial on that in the future. It's nice because later on if you change, if you're balancing your abilities, you don't have to come back into the button and change the numbers. So I'd recommend doing that, but uh, it's a little bit tricky to figure out that syntax or whatever. Um, anyways... Let's switch back to, uh, what was I doing? Back to the ability here. For spirit, uh, actually, what was this? I was going to the button here. So, so the spirit bolt, the first level is gonna deal, it's gonna tell you it does 100, but then what do you do in the second level? You want it to obviously update the tooltip. So, um, Blizzard nicely enough added this thing right here. So all you have to do is go into this thing, click add value, um, text key button slash uh, well, let me go figure it out. What's the text key for this? Button slash tooltip slash spirit bolt. Um, if you don't understand this concept, what I'm doing right now, um, it's good to know this, that um, basically a text key in the text editor, it's this button here, I think, or, uh, yeah, I think it's that one. Um, the text editor contains a bunch of keys that each have text, so whenever you enter text for anything, it always has this little thing up here, and that actually means something. So if I just delete this, you can see the text goes away. Um, I'm referencing this key, and I can just ease, I'm just going to copy this thing here, and I can easily just make a new key by pressing 2, or whatever I want here. Um, so I'm going to make this new key called Button Tooltip Spirit, uh, Spirit Bolt 2, and in this key, it's going to have this text, and it's just going to be 200 damage. And every bit of text has to have a key, so you can't just have random text floating in space. Um, it does have a key. But the good, the good thing about that is that um, if I wanted to make this reference 1, I could just do that and bam, it figured this out. And it lagged out 2. And OK, that was weird. Let me just remake that. So add value. Um, what was it? Text tooltip slash. Uh, button slash tooltip slash spirit bolt. Is that seriously not it? Oh, I guess capitals capitals matter. Okay, uh, back to the, the spirit bolt here. So that the second level. So for the second level, um, just put put a two here. Paste back in this text and put the two there and press OK. And OK. So now. Level 1 is just going to use this button here, which says 100. And then when you get level 2 of the ability, it's going to switch the button, tooltip. It's not going to switch the image of the name unless you specified so, um, which in this case I don't really want to. It's already going to say level 2. Um, but it will switch the tooltip to say 200 damage, which is good. Um, and that's pretty much that. So back to energy defense here. Uh, I don't know how I ended up on that tangent, but anyways, the cost. Um, actually is not going to have any cost um, because it's going to be a passive ability that you turn on and off. Um, flags, toggle, that's what you want, and not toggled on because you would want, I think you'd not want it toggled on so that people can actually turn it on, I don't know. It's up to you on that one. Um, and transient means that um, if the unit's running and you toggle this on, it's not going to stop the unit. So I'm going to leave transient as checked, so your guy will continue doing whatever he's doing if you toggle it on. It doesn't stop him. Um, so it's going to do that, and because it's a behavior, oops, because it's a behavior type of ability, it automatically just, it's an instant button, you turn it on or off. You don't target or anything. 